Good evening, good evening, good evening. Greetings, greetings, greetings. Welcome, welcome, welcome to Queen Bee's Half Hour of Power. Today is Sunday, March 5th, 2023. Let me first wish anyone who is having a birthday on today a very happy birthday. I pray that it is all that you want it to be and that your heart is filled with all the love your heart can hold. Okay, so today, March 5th, we commemorate Namesake Day and we observe the Dissociative Identity Disorder Awareness Day. For this week, we are commemorating National Invest in Veterans Week. And for the month, we are expanding Girls Horizon in Science and Engineering Month. This is Irish American Heritage Month, National Women's History Month, and National Social Work Month, to name a few. So, I had promised you pearls on yesterday. Was it yesterday? I think it was yesterday, yes. And I came in and I did the new releases because new releases came in on Friday. So today, we are going to go ahead on and get these pearls out the way. It's all about the pearls this evening. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you, thank you, thank you for joining me this evening. I have some very, very nice pearls to show you, and we're going to go ahead and get started. Um, the first thing that I want to show you this evening is this very cute single strand of pearls that feature this rhinestone bow in rhinestones. It's called Classy Cadenza. We have a conglomerate of small-sized or medium-sized white pearls that are threaded along an invisible wire. And we have these, what I call disco balls. They are um, rhinestones encrusted, and they have that beautiful bow with the rhinestones. It features an adjustable clasp closure. I have it extended just about all the way out. Let me go ahead on and let it all the way out so that you can see in its entirety. It features an adjustable clasp closure. And it comes with a beautiful pair of matching white pearl earrings that are interfaced and connected to standard fish hook fittings for pierced ears. This is called Classy Credenza White Pearl Necklace. Isn't she beautiful? Very refreshing. And sometimes everybody needs just a single strand of pearls. They are the ultimate go-to. When nothing else works, the single strand of pearls always will. Then I have Follow My Lead. Follow My Lead is a white stretchable pearl bracelet. It's just a single, single simple strand of pearls that are threaded along stretchable bands over the wrist. Item number 142. 142. Very nice. Okay. Item number 143. One forty three is a lanyard, and you can use this around your neck to attach your work badge to. You have your clip here to attach your badge to. This is called Creative. Couture white lanyard. We have pearls. We have glassy uh, rounded beads with a prismatic hue to it. And it's threaded along a silver chain. We have oversized links and we have a hoop. And this is item number 143. This is the one and done. I'm just going to hook that number on there so that you can see how it works with your badge. 
And it comes with a pair of glassy earrings. This is item number 143. It's called Creative Couture White Lanyard. 143. 144 is a beautiful, beautiful pair of pearls and rhinestones that is called Renowned Refinement. We have clusters of pearls and rhinestones. Each side mirrors the other. We have three on each side and one in the center, threaded along a silver chain. It features an adjustable clasp closure. Give me just a second. Got hung up a little bit on the tweet here. Okay, so it falls and lays like that below your collar. This is called Renowned Refinement, item number 144. Has that much of an extender, and it comes with a cute pair of white pearl earrings that are interfaced and connected to standard fish hook fittings for pierced ears. These are set in silver frames, and they're one piece. Okay, so they're all melted and welded in there together, and those rhinestones sets this apart. This is called Renown Refinement, item number 144. Now, if you want a more um, definitive pair of earrings for that, I would suggest let there be socialite white hoop. We have the hoop, and it's encrusted with rhinestones and pearls. It is threaded along a beautiful silver hoop. It is a post. It's approximately one and three quarter inches in diameter. It's called Let There Be Socialite White Hoop, item number 145. 145. Very nice. Item number... 146 is a cute, uh, a cute pair of pearls that are called Fifth Avenue A-Lister. They're purple on one side, white on the other, and it has a silver accent pearl that gives it definition, flavor, and strength. It features an adjustable clasp closure. I have it extended just about all the way out because I wanted you to see the pearls in their entirety. It comes with a pair of flavorful purple pearls. This is called Fifth Avenue A-Lister, item number 146. This is a one and done, 146. Okay. Item number 147 is a fashion fix necklace. It is a vintage fashion fix necklace from Fiercely Fifth Avenue. And this one is called Glam Queen. Glam Queen. It features silver beadings that are threaded along an oversized silver chain. It interfaces and connects to an adjustable clasp closure. Falls below your collar like that. Comes with a pair of silver gray pearls that are interfaced and connected to standard fish hook fittings for pierced ears. This is called Glam Queen. Glam Queen. Item number 147. 147. Now, the beautiful wrist candy that goes to that is a very phenomenal silver gray beaded bracelet that features an adjustable clasp closure. It does not have an extender. I wouldn't go past the seven, seven and a half at the most with this. And the beautiful necklace mimics the, the bracelet mimics the necklace. This is the Queen of Glam, and the, 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 the necklace is the Glam Queen. So I'm going to show you the two of these together. These were extra vintage fashion fix pieces from yesterday. Item 147, Glam Queen, the beautiful, beautiful necklace. And the Queen of Glam is the bracelet. 148. 
Okay. Item number 149 is called Rustic Ritz Silver. Rustic Rick Silver is a beautiful teardrop shaped hammered out uh, overlay that houses inside of the teardrop a silver or a white, I'm sorry. No, it's a silver, a silver teardrop and it's threaded along a silver chain. Falls and lays like that below your collar. Comes with an adjustable clasp closure that has that much of an extender so you have room to leverage it for length. The earrings are a striking pair of silver gray to drop earrings that are interfaced and connected to standard fishhook fittings for pierced ears. This is called Rustic Ritz in Silver, item number 149. 149, Rustic Ritz in Silver. Okay. Item number 150 this evening. It's very mesmerizing, very attractive, makes a very nice statement. It is called The More, The Modest. The More, The Modest. This is a two-layered set of pearls. One sits inside the other, and they're both connected to a gold bar that interface and connect to a standard, an adjustable clasp closure. And it comes with a pair of beautiful matching white pearl earrings that are interfaced and connected to standard fishhook fittings. This is called the More the Modest in Gold. This is a pair of two strands of white pearls and they have these gold um, discs in between the pearls to give it a strength and character. Item number 150, the more the modest. The more the modest. Now, I selected another pair of earrings that would work extremely well with those. These are called Glamorously Glowing. It is a white teardrop that is set in a gold frame. And inside of the frame, we have a teardrop of white pearls and inside of the pearls we have a teardrop of white rhinestones this is called glamorously glowing in gold item number 150 very very nice earrings item number 151 is a fascinating pair of gold hoops that are called Metro Pier. We have a hoop within a hoop that is melded together. It gives the illusion of two pieces. It's actually one. These are post and they feature some beautiful pearls with the larger one in the center and then the smaller ones on each side of the larger one to give it a different flavor. This is called Metro Pier Gold Hoop featuring pearls. Item number 152, 152. Item number 153 are called Pursuing Perfection. And here we have a waterfall of pearls, glassy beads, and silver beads that are interfaced and connected to standard fish hook fittings in silver and falls like that from the lobe of your ear. This is item number 153, 153, and these beauties are called Pursuing Perfection, Pursuing Perfection, 153, okay. Okay, item number 154. One fifty four is a one woman show. This is a conglomerate of white strands of pearls 
we have four here that interface and connect to a medium-sized pearl. Then we have a glassy white bead in the center, and then it connects to another medium-sized white pearl that interface to a silver chain. It has that much of an extender. It features an adjustable clasp closure. I'm gonna loosen this and let it out a little bit so you can get a more definitive depiction of it. Files and lays like that below your collar. Comes with a beautiful pair of white pearl earrings that are interfaced and connected to standard fish hook fittings and silver. This is called Pursuing, no, this is called One Woman Show White Necklace. Very nice, very simple, very chic. And of course, that is from the Fiercely Fifth Avenue collection. Okay, now item number 155. 155 is the Glamour Graduate. And the Glamour Graduate is a myriad of white pearls in three different sizes. and They're all shaped around, but they're three different sizes. And they're threaded along a silver wire, a gold wire, I'm sorry. And it's capped off in the end with a pearl, and it is a post. And they are approximately two inches in diameter. Very nice. This is called the Glamour Graduate, and this is a pair of white pearl hoop earrings. Item number 155. 155. 156 is a beautiful bracelet that is called Undeniably Dapper, and it's stretchable for a flexible fit. On the front side, we have uh, these two um, rectangular discs that house white rhinestones. We have a myriad of uh, discs that house the rhinestones. And then we have the white glassy beadings that give it a little bit more appeal. This is called Undeniably Dapper. This is a three-piece uh, bracelet set. Stretchable for a flexible fit. Item number 156, undeniably dapper pearl bracelet. 156, very nice. Okay, 157 is called Nautical Novu. It's a white and gold freshwater pearl necklace set that um, hangs below your collar like that. It's threaded along a gold chain. It features an adjustable clasp closure with that much of an extender. These are freshwater pearls, different shapes, different dimensions, but very intriguing. And we have a pair of white pearls that are interfaced and connected to gold standard fishhook fittings for pierced ears. This beautiful piece is called Nautical Novel White Gold Necklace. 157 Nautical Novo. Very nice. Very nice. Item number 158 is Bow Before the Queen. Bow Before the Queen is a powerful statement making piece. It has a layer of pearls, it has a layer of silver chain silver bars. Um, some of these are teardrops, some of them are ellipses, and some of them are a little bit elongated. It is a double-stranded necklace, and it's fit for a queen, hence the name, Bow Before the Queen. It interfaces and connects to an adjustable clasp closure. It is a short necklace with a lot of attitude and a whole lot of flavor. It is called Bow Before the Queen. Okay, isn't that nice? We have the rhinestones meeting up with the pearls to feature this beautiful piece. 158, Bow Before the Queen. And that was a, 
a exclusive piece, okay? So up next we have um, a pair of pearls that are called Pearl Pageant. Pearl Pageant. We have um, three layers here. Yeah, three layers of gold chain. Some of them have pearls in a face. Some is just a simple silver chain that gives uh, add dimension and affect. And then we have this one right here with a definitive texture, which gives it a little bit more pizzazz. It is a longer necklace. It's three layers. It features an adjustable clasp closure with that much of an extender. And it comes with a pair of pearl earrings that are interfaced and connected to standard fishhook fittings, four pierced ears, and these pearl earrings are identical to the pearls featured on the strand that houses the pearls. This is called Pearl Pageant White Necklace, item number 159. It is a one and done, 159. Item number 160 is one of my favorites. I think you're going to like it. It is called Fiercely Flowing. It is a beautiful, beautiful necklace that features a conglomerate or three pieces of white florals. And they have the pearls with the rhinestone in the center to add dimension and depth. And then we have, in between, on each side, we have a floral of nothing but rhinestones, which add dimension and strength. Isn't that beautiful? Threaded along a silver chain. It features an adjustable clasp closure with that much of an extender. Lays like that below your collar. You can dress it up or down. Comes with a small pair of white rhinestone earrings that are capped and set in silver frames, interfaced and connected to standard fishhook fittings, four pierced ears, fiercely flowing, item number 160, fiercely flowing. Very nice. You can dress her up or down. Having said that, let me introduce you to High End Elegance. High End Elegance is a little bit of a beautiful rhinestone and pearl earring that falls from the ear like a dangle. Very nice interface and connected to standard fishhook fittings for pierced ears. Item number 161. 161. You can dress these babies up or down. They are very cooperative and equally attractive, okay? Item number 162 is Until the End of Timeless. This is a beautiful three-layer or three-tiered uh, bracelet that features an adjustable clasp closure, has that much of an extender, and we have three rows of white pearls that are in different um, sizes, but they're all rounded pearls. And this is called Until the End of Timeless. It is a beautiful uh, adjustable class closure bracelet, item number 162. 162. Okay, 163 is Pearl Prodigy in white. This is a longer strand of pearls. They're all the same size from here where we have these two smaller ones. All of these below are the same size. Then we have a couple or three above that are the same size. And then we have the two single pearls. Each side mirrors the other. It is threaded along a silver chain. 
It features an adjustable clasp closure with that much of an extender. Comes with a beautiful pair of matching pearl earrings that are interfaced and connected to standard fish fittings for pierced ears. This is called Pearl Prodigy. You can dress her up or down. She is item number 163. 163. She's a little bit longer, but she's just as beautiful and elegant. Okay. Up next, we have Royal Reminiscence. Royal Reminiscence. is I don't know where 163 went I thought I just put up 162 oh 163 was um okay that was um Pearl Prosperity okay Royal Reminiscence is 164 this is a braided conglomerate of pearls and silver chain that interface and connect to the silver caps that meet an adjustable clasp closure. I have it extended just about all the way out because I wanted you to see it. It's just so beautiful. And it comes with a beautiful pair of matching pearl earrings interfaced and connected to standard fisher fittings for pierced ears. This is called Royal Reminiscence 164. 164. And 165 is Vintage Variety Fright White Bracelet, which features chains. And then we have, we have three chains here that are featured. We have an adjustable clasp closure with that much of an extender. And we have these open Irish filigree silver uh balls that inter interface in between the pearls that sits across the top side of your wrist yields a beautiful piece of wrist candy. This is called Vintage Variety. Vintage Variety. Item number 165. And it has quite a bit of an extender. So that gives you a little space to work with with the dimensions of the wrist. The next thing I wanted to show you this evening is this over-the-wrist cuff bracelet. It's called Total Sailout. We have pearls and silver, and we have some uh, glassy white beadings in here to give it a little bit more intensity and strengthen it a bit. It is an over-the-wrist cuff bracelet. Easy on. Sits and looks like that atop your wrist. Very nice, and it would go with any of these pearls that I have shown you this evening. This is item number 166, Total Sale Out Pearls with Silver, Rhinestones, and Accessories. Okay, up next, we have these beautiful earrings, 167, that are called Ageless Applique. Isn't that cute? We start with the big pearl at the top, then we have a conglomerate of smaller pearls and a medium-sized pearl, and then it gets a little bit smaller till we come down to that one pearl at the end. It is a dangled earring. It hangs from your ear. Item number 167 is called Ageless Applique. Ageless Applique. And last but not least for this evening, I have this one necklace that I'd like to show you. It is a one and done. It's called Be Fancy in Silver. We have three tiers. Each one has something different, with the first one being a pearl, the second one being a teardrop that has a, a, a conglomerate of pearls and a face to it, and the last one being a silver tassel of chains. Now this is a longer necklace. It features an adjustable clasp closure, so you have that much of an extender. And it comes with a small pair of pearl earrings that are interfaced and connected to standard fisher fittings 
for pierced ears. This is called Be Fancy Silver Necklace. This is a one and done item number 168. It is now 8 o'clock. And I want to say thank you, thank you, thank you for your presence this evening. Hello, Chantel. You are appreciated. Hey, Francois. Mwah. Thank you for joining me this evening. Hey, Trina. Always good to see you. Hey, Wanisha. Thank you for coming in. You should get your jewelry tomorrow. Thank you all for joining me this evening for this fun-filled night of pearls. Tomorrow night, I think that I am going to take a break tomorrow night and come back on Tuesday, okay? So if you're not busy, come on and join me. And if you are busy, it'll be out there on my page, as well as Queen Bee Jewels page, as well as on YouTube, as well as on Instagram. So follow me on JL, which is Jewelry Lady Queen Bee, on Instagram, Brenda Bentley at YouTube, my own personal page on Facebook, Brenda Bentley Parish, and also Queen Bee Jewels page at 120239 on Facebook. My, my website is up and running. It's uh, www.paparaziaccessories.com backslash 120239. And we are getting new releases in on a regular. So if you go out there, you might be able to grab some that I might not be able to grab because it is on a first come, first serve basis. So thank you for joining me this evening. I appreciate your presence and your support so much. It means so much to me to look out and see you guys out here with me. I thank you for that. My prayer remains one and the same. Until we meet again, I ask Father God to hold each one of us in the palm of his hand. And if there's something in particular that you want to see, like a color or multi-colors or just just DM me, and if I got it, I'll make it happen, okay? Thank you for joining me. Have a good night. Be blessed, and I'll see you next time on Tuesday. Good night.